subscribers asked a question. Uh, how do I make a button have an image over it, or how do I make an image into a button? And uh, his name is David Baker, and he uh, he's a subscriber, and he asked that question today. And I gave him a pretty simple answer: just use an image field and make it make the click event of the image field whatever script you want to run when the uh, the image is clicked, then it'll it'll act like a button. Uh, there's only one problem. Uh, that answer is wrong. <laughs> there is no click event. And that's true for any non-form field. So if you look at your object library, you have form fields and then you have just objects like rectangle, line, circle, image. Those are all non-form fields, meaning there's no data entry, there's no entry point. So like for a field, that's different than an image. An image field is different in that you can, at runtime, add an image to that field. So then I thought, well, let's, let's just use the image field for our click event. Well, there's another problem with that. Once you do that, then you introduce uh, a problem of, so you put the picture in there, preset the image field, make no caption, and then in the click event, let's just put in a little script that's called hello world, app.alert. This makes a pop-up come up. Let's just try that. The other problem with that is, by default, a click event on an image field asks for a new image. And so, after we cancel this, then the hello world comes up, but that's not exactly what he wants. He doesn't want that first step. So, we had to come up with a kind of a workaround solution. So here it is. Let's first start by making an image object, adding our picture. And then let's add a button object the same exact size. Overlay it over top there. All right, let's take away the caption. And then let's make no border. And then let's go to the border tab and take away the background fill. So now the button's there. Still Command-1. But it's superimposed over the image, and then we made it have no background, so it's basically invisible. And this was basically David's original question. He had, he had this as a theory, this might work, but didn't know how to do it. So now on the click event of the button, not the image, the button, let's put in our script. And let's test that out. That creates the effect we want. Just a button that's, a, that's an image. And of course you don't have to have a pop-up. You can make all kinds of things happen in a script. You can make things hide show. You can, you can do all kinds of things. So David, thank you very much for the question. I learned something. Um, you can't make an image object, this object right here, clickable. It doesn't work because it's a non-form field. And you can't use this because if you try that, then the click event creates the common dialog box that come open to choose a, a picture to put in the field. So that didn't work. So you have to use basically an image with a button superimposed over it and then take away the border to none, take away the caption, and that makes an invisible button. Also take away the border. And that makes an invisible button then that can have a click event and something can happen. And uh, remember always with this, the, the image has to be brought to the front. Now since we added it second, we didn't need to do that. But as you layer things on top of each other, uh, the topmost thing is going to receive the click. All right, David, thanks very much. Hopefully this answers your question and you can have some more fun designing your form.